Less time on game grabs. Ooh, Ooh. A lurker. I mean, <laughs> peekaboo. <laughs> you got a lurk. You should do it behind a tree like that. Yeah, and continually poke your head out just for maximum. Sure yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, I'm Dan. I'm also Dan. Dan with Brian Wecht. Hello, and welcome back to Game Grumps uh, Phantasmagoria Part Four. Uh, we are here, and uh, I'm here with my dear friend Brian Wecht. Hi, everybody. Happy Ninja to be Brian. Here. Yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, th this is getting pretty hot and heavy now uh, with this uh, story. Um, and uh, let's continue. Yeah. Oops. Control F4. Look at this enter. pro. New CDs. Oh, oh it's the next go. day now. Chapter four. Oh, well, you know what? Oh. I just. Oh, dude. Yesterday. That's my anniversary, October 20th. Hey, that's And today nice. is Rachel's birthday, October 21st. How lovely. But I never looked like that. Okay, Our take it easy, no. take it easy. Look, I'm talking about Don. Okay. Okay, we're back. We are back. Okay, so uh, there was an unfortunate scene there that we're just going to leave out of our playthrough. Um, but, I mean, it's easy enough to see on YouTube if you want to be a completionist. Something unpleasant happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Don came in and got uh, very, very sexually aggressive uh, with uh, with Adrian, and so... We don't need to see that. Well, yeah, one more... one more poor... Uh, one more reason for of trauma for this poor woman to deal with. Um, but... Uh, God damn it, that only makes us more determined to help her out Yep. And get her out of this jam she's in. So. Uh, now we must. Now we explore. Yes. Well, we're going to go to Carno's bedroom. Nice. Which is that big freaky yes. red one. Wait, is that the one with the giant portrait of Carno in it? No. <laughs> yeah, right? you might. Yeah, one of several giant portrait of Carno uh, rooms. Rooms in this house. That, that was the uh, bed hands one, right? Yes, exactly. Right. Right, right, right. There. So while we were uh, uh, taking a break right now, mm -hmm. just now, I looked up. This was one of the best-selling games of 1995. Yes, it was. This was a very popular game. Which is wild. Yeah, there's Carno. Yep. I mean, it's just like... It looks... Like I said, it looks very 1995 now. Yes. But at the time, this really was, like, astonishingly advanced. Let's see what this is. Ah. No, oh, a jewelry box or something. Is that a key? Uh, it's a glowing necklace. Put that shit on. Okay. Yes. I mean, if you see a glowing necklace, you have to put it on. I found this in your room. Where did you get it? Why, Zoltan, what do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. Gaston gave it to you, didn't he? No. I bought it when we were in London last month. I'm not a fool, Marie. I've been watching. When he looks at you, you smile and blush. And he's always hovering around you backstage. But you're wrong, Zoltan. He's just a friend. That's all. I don't want him here tomorrow night. But he's your prop man. He has a right to be at your party. Please don't accuse me of this. He gives you props. I love you. Only you. You know, I did... Oh. I did hear that uh, no one's slick as Gaston. And no one's quick as <laughs> Gaston. Gaston. That's true. Ooh, the necklace disappeared out of her hands. I wonder how they did that. Either she hid it up her sleeve or she dropped it and they blue screened it out. Either way, it's kind of cool. Yeah. God, whatever. Okay. Um, let's see here. Did we already get what we needed out of here? I believe we opened this. It was that book, wasn't it? Yes. Didn't we do something? Did we read it? No, there was cigarettes in it, and then oh, we said 420 right. blaze it. Uh, yep, of course we and did then, that. Yeah, okay. I guess we were just supposed to get the necklace. And now we can a piece out of here. I said 420 blaze it. Everyone laughed. 
<laughs> uh, then we said 69. I said nice. Um, and, and then we called it a yeah, day. Yeah, and that's knowing that comedy had been whoa, yep. the statue butts. Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, let's go downstairs. Only good things happen downstairs. Of course. Hey, I've been waiting oh. for you. I'm sorry, Harriet. I forgot all about it. You ready to work? Yeah, ma'am. Tell me what to do. There she is. Well, let's see. Kitchen dishes need washing. Our bed needs to be made. Uh, Santa's sleigh needs to be polished. <laughs> oh, you were right about the polishing. Nice. nice. This floor needs sweeping. Get right on it. Wow. And my husband needs murdering. <laughs> um. I have a question, Harriet. When I was in the tower room, I saw a little building in the woods on the eastern side of the island. Do you know anything about it? Nope. I've never been in those woods. I've only lived here my whole life. <laughs> Cyrus has, though. Go ask him. Okay, I will. You're, Thanks. I mean you've never been in those woods. Anything you're else? You're covered in those woods. You're... Clearly seventy, yeah, <laughs> and have lived okay. in this town forever. Please empty the waste baskets. Yep. Anything else? I'll just keep clicking. Oh, by the way, uh, I see you carrying around that newspaper. You want me to throw it away for you? Please, would you? She's fun. Yeah, you know what? I wasn't into her initially because of the whole getting stuck in the barn while trespassing thing. <laughs> But now she's now, grown now on I me. Like the vibe. She's yeah. grown on me. I agree. I agree. I, I, I've learned to love every one of these characters. She's really cool. She's a real Don type. D no, except for Don. Don't love Don. But again, he's possessed by a demon. So like, we think. I th we th yeah, think. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I am giving them the benefit of the damned. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hi ho, hi ho! It's off to work I go. This is a tall hat she's wearing. It, it's it's so it's it's a real choice. It's so Elven. I it cracks me up. But like Keebler Elven. Let me give her the tarot cards because she said she was into palm reading. Oh yeah. Go tarot cards in the house. I don't read them. I do you have to do that them. here? Let me see. At the sink? Yeah, I guess so. Weird. Dern. They're beautiful. I thought you'd like them. <gasps> I tell you what. Given how I'm not paying you, I thought I'd give you something. No, you don't have to. Right now, over here. No, really. It's... Okay. No good deed goes unpunished. This first card, <gasps> the Seven of Dawns, <laughs> and it's upside down. Meaning I love the way possessed. her feet don't reach the ground. That is really it's so funny. cute. Look at that. <laughs> it's a tall ass chair. Finally dude. sitting at the big kid table. <laughs> Right. Please stop wiping your nose before you hand me things. Now this will answer why we wear the same clothes every day. I'm a, yeah, I'm a happy little elf. Is that what you do in a circle? I, I have thought no it was idea. like... This don't look good. Well, what is it? I don't know. Well, <laughs> of course, it's, it's all in the interpretation, but... It's a royal flush. <laughs> Come on, Harriet. Well... All right. People sure are unwilling to divulge information yeah. at first. In the middle. Fool. And that's you. Thanks. And the fool is surrounded by all these seven other energies. Now this card, that's the lovers. That means that means that the fool is gonna have to make a choice in the area of love. <laughs> Maybe go that's for a 70-year-old elf. <laughs> But the area of love is what I call my crotch. All these other cards surrounding it. Well. <clears throat> oh, these 
two cards as justice and strength. And that's good, because the fool can use them for strength <laughs> and justice. Rational solutions and a balanced mind. And courage, strength, and determination. It's kind of cool she's telling, talking about the player of the game. Mm -hmm. Sounds like I'm heading off to battle. You might be. Take a look at these other four cards here. The worst four cards in the deck. Two of clubs. <laughs> man. Tower. Devil. And Carno. Death. <laughs> Did you say Jeff? Death. <laughs> I like it when people say devil like that. Death. Jeff. Jeff. He's just kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> so what's the verdict? It's hard to know. You're on the naughty list. Because <laughs> you know it's all in the interpretation. Interpretation. <laughs> top of my head, I'd say that you're going to have some big trouble with your hubby. Evil's got him, and he's going to change. You're going to have to muster all the strength and courage that you have to fight it. There's going to be a sacrifice, and then you're going to have to use your wits to win. Fun. Mm -hmm. well, thanks, it also Harry. says maybe you should start paying That's your hired help. Now, I know that you think that this is all just a bunch of hogwash. Now, Harriet, I really appreciate you trying to help me, but I just don't believe in this stuff. Well, now, all I know is that there's some bad trouble around here. That's how I feel about Judaism. <laughs> Fine. I will. Listen to that card fully. I know. And I'm just gonna drop ten feet off this <laughs> chair. Get back to <laughs> the floor. <laughs> Great. Yeah, that was fun. I think I'll do a little saving. Actually. I like how that gave us literally no information about anything. Yeah, well, it's 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 more just kind of world building and yep. letting you know what's going on. A little foreshadowing, perhaps. Yep. I mean, what do you expect? She's a crazy person you found in the barn. <laughs> Who now works for you and is your best friend. <laughs> yeah. Who now has free run of your yeah. house. Uh, all right, let's see here. Oh, the piano. Yeah, I didn't mean to go here. I want to get outside. Did we go in that room yet? No, we can't. It's locked up. Uh-oh. Oh, there's... Hello, Harriet. There she is. Boy, she's good. Fast. <laughs> How you doing, Harriet? Just fine. Just doing a reading for some idiot. Oh, <laughs> I, uh. <laughs> Just gotta sweep the dishes, wash the floors. Okay. Now, oh, so we're gonna go towards the woods here. I see. Yeah, she told me that Cyrus knows the way to that house right. we saw. So, because otherwise it's literally impossible to get to because it's almost twenty yards away. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Hey, Cyrus. Yeah, you stupid cat. Yeah. I didn't want to play with you at all. <laughs> you stupid key cat. I run away and all I want to do is play. Hi, Cyrus. Stabbing my cat. <laughs> some, some good old fashioned nipple wamps of cat stabbing. What were you doing with my cat? Getting bit. I would detain you, did this all. Cyrus, don't play with him, okay? Okay. 
<laughs> it's pretty agreeable, honestly. Oh, what? Cyrus. Where, where the fuck? We're outside the house. We're right? outside the house. Oh, now. a giant face. Love yeah. it. Yeah. That, that, that Zoltan. He loved himself some Zoltan. Is that Zoltan? Yeah, yeah. But that's not Carno. Zoltan is Carno. Uh, Zoltan Carno. Oh, right. Sorry. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I could see a little building in the woods. Well, I was wondering, have you seen it? Yeah. It, it, it over there. Well, can you show me the way? Well, the trail's all washed out. Now, usually what I do, I just jump over it. I never would have thought Where of that. It, jump over the building? Over there. Well, he's gone. <laughs> yeah. We're Cyrus, now. you're moving way too fast, man. Oh, it's over the very obvious bridge. <laughs> well, now, yeah, now it's, uh, it's a little more. Okay. This all opens up. This wasn't open before. No, I don't think so. Oh, there you are. I've been waiting for you. I'm sorry, Cyrus. I tried to hurry. Oh, it's okay. Uh, see? There it is. Just like I told you. Come on. Do it. Yeah. Well, What's I the worst know, that Cyrus. could happen? It looks kind of dangerous. Isn't there another way? Could you lay across it and I'll <laughs> walk on your body? Is he going to push over the tree? That's what I would do. Right yeah. Now. That's exactly what's going on. Is this a hammer situation? No, Cyrus is just country strong, as they say. It's not even a puzzle. You just do it. Yep. Okay, cool. Well, you needed to know to talk to him about yeah. it. Yeah, th this is what opens up. <laughs> <laughs> that pause is amazing. It is. Why would they keep that? You're amazing, Cyrus. I can't believe you did that. I don't know. I'm strong. See? Felt like they cut out one of his lines. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, Ma always tells me that that I'm more muscles than brains. <laughs> yeah, well, your what a cool mom. Yeah, nice thing. There's my controlling and frightening mom now. <laughs> All right. Super cool. Yep, that was nice. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Do it, Adrian. Don't be scared. Come on, you can do it. It's just a blue screen. It's just a balance beam. Really take your time and look at screen. it. Yeah. Okay. And there we go. Nice. Okay. One foot in front of the other, baby. We're golden. We're golden. Cyrus! <laughs> I love Harriet. Okay. It Dismount. is so funny how they keep asking her to stand up straight like that every time. I know. Yeah, yeah. The, the reset phase. I always like this. It scene. must have been like very flattering for that actor to like uh, just have that role. It's got to be cool. It. I mean, I would love to be a part of something like this. Yeah. Especially at that time. A grommet. Yeah. A washer. Epic. A washer. <laughs> I love it. Don I'll keep it forever. How much he loved washers. <laughs> oh, here we are. Yep. Greenhouse time. All right. So let's save. Do a little saving. Yep. Because you just get the sense that something ominous is coming. What in the spooky, dilapidated greenhouse? No. Yeah. Hmm.
Yeah, I really like these moments where they're just like, okay, look around for 40 to 45 for a seconds. While. <laughs> <laughs> and there's not even that much to take in. That's the interest. Yeah, yeah. Oh, big pot. No! Oh, shit! It's ahead. My pot. Wow. <laughs> All right. I always did want to get ahead in gardening, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That, that is ridiculous, Brian. Thank you. An entire human body. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't water them. Ew. Yep. Oh my god. Don? <laughs> and we're back. Great. Can we do anything with that? I don't know. Maybe just look at it again. Burp, burp, burp. Nope, still dead. Kiss it. No, pass. What happened to you? Tell me. Tell me! <laughs> Are you? No, oh, I bet that's the wife. That's my guess. Could be. Or one of them. Yeah. He had five. Yeah, that's right. Five wives with nine lives. I made up the nine part. No, I know. Oh, what's that? It's a trowel. Uh-oh. This is always good music. Yeah, good this things only happen yeah. when this plays. Is that Don? Uh oh. Uh oh. This is a yeah. Flashback to the Zoltan days. Zoltan, what are you doing here? But that's like the hair of the woman in the flower pot. <laughs> This seems fine. Yeah. He looks Do you like know where my lies. hair cream is? Just thought I'd come in and weirdly touch your face. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm married. I know how it goes. Kind of mush your hand, my hand around. Well, I think that's his wife. Leave me to my plants. Yes. What were you saying about my pants? Oh! Whoa! Good lord! He stabbed her in the face? Ugh! Oh! What? Oh, that's so violent! Why? Because he's possessed by the demon. Ugh! And then he stuffed her in a in the potted plant. Gross! I always said you were going to seed. All right, Brian. What? <laughs> I love you, tree. Hold me, tree. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking. <laughs> no one understands me like you. <laughs> that was the most erotically charged thing that I've was ever seen. That was really violent. I am actually shocked by the level of gore. Yeah, th this game gets game? super gory. 1995. Yeah. Crazy. Whew. Wow, and it, and it's it's weird too because nowhere I know this game like lulls you into like a sense of oh I'm in a fun greenhouse uh, yeah yeah just chilling out make sure you don't do anything right away you always have to like really assess the situation first absolutely No, oh, it's anything. pointed directly at the sun. <laughs> I'm blind. Oh, my, missing a lens piece. my oh. eyes. Oh, maybe that's what we picked up on the way here, dog. That's a lens piece. Sure. Weird. Kind of looks wildly different than it was when we picked it up. But that's fine. It does. And also, you I guess you'd be able to see out of it. I don't get it. Hmm. 
Hmm. New window. I guess that's where Batman lives. That other window there by the tower room. Batman? I thought you lived in the caverns down below. All right. Now we know. Let's just save. Are we going to go back and figure out what's up with that? Uh, go upstairs. Yeah. Yep. That's what I want to do. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Can I? Thank you. Time do to you, go all the way back. Do you remember for a while when we were trying to write the song, Pretty Sure I'm Batman? Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty Sure I'm Batman and It's Probably Your Birthday have been like the two most elusive songs yes. we've ever tried to write. I think at this point we've basically Give officially it given up on Yeah. That. But... I think we had the idea for both of those at least 10 years ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure on Batman was funny. I think I love the title. It, it is just impossible to do anything. Yes, with. it was. Oh, what is this? That's the crypt. Oh. The crypt. Where is its keeper? <laughs> Hello, boys and ghouls. <laughs> exactly why I said that. I was hoping you would do that. Oh, man. Crib Keeper was another one from this time period. Oh, like, yes. Super scary. I wonder who that could be. Oh. Uh, Don uh. Jr. <laughs> Let's see here. Ah. Oh, cool car. Yeah. It's a fucking ride right there. Banging. It's the hoopty. Hmm. Hey there, sailor. I heard your table was broken. <laughs> you must be installing the fog. Hi. Yeah, I'm Mike. Your uh, caretakers let me in. Oh, great. I'm going nuts without a fog. Yeah, I can understand that. The sleeves are really rolled up high. <laughs> this is quite a place you got here, man. Adrian. Yeah, it is quite a place, isn't it? I better get back to work. Okay. Good talk. <laughs> All right. Does the hint skull help? Oh, very much so. It's just that I know what I'm doing. What, what does it say to you if you click on it? it it'll give you, like... It won't give you direct hints as to your next thing, but I'll, I'll I'll show you. Yeah, it's like esoteric stuff. I am the official hint oh. keeper. Oh, okay, we know that. Watch. Okay. Near the tower room, another room hides. Oh, yeah, that kind of cool. thing. That's crucial. I, I would find I would find it easy to believe that this game is impossible. <laughs> no, oh. that, like, yes, it's Don. Um, Who is she? Jeez. Wow. A chariot. I don't want her around our house, so you had better get rid of her. That guy's gotta chill. She's gonna give us presents at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I think something ominous might be happening in that dark room. Yeah. Maybe it's become a dark arts room. Yeah. Or a dark magic. Just thought I'd come here. and violently grab your arm like a psycho. You know how you do that thing where you wait for someone to cross outside your room when the door is closed and then you leap out and grab them? Yeah, people love it. It's just kind of basic marriage stuff. Ooh, okay, here it is. I'm sorry, I forgot. Gotta go to the attic. Which is up in, yeah. And there was a window that we just didn't notice before. That's right. No, it's this panel. Oh. It, was, I, it wasn't clickable before. I knock on every wall just in case it's hollow. Mm-hmm. Because you never know. Sometimes there's treasure. I go one step farther. I bash it with a hammer. Oh, fuck yeah. Finally, the hammer. Oh, I guess we used it to get the nail, too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Have fun green screening that. <laughs> Kick it. Ticket. I guess they had to speed this up a little. 
Because it suddenly looks like she's in a Charlie Chaplin movie. Yeah, you know, just, uh, you're breaking down a wall. Just really take your time <laughs> with it. There's nothing urgent. Uh, your well, husband is probably possessed, so you've got all the time in the world. You know what? Like, I know, I know we sound like old fogies when we say shit like this, but it's really true. The mid-90s, everything moved at a different pace. Sure, <laughs> everything before the internet moved at a different pace. Yes. So, this is long before smartphones, long before anything like that, and... You just had more time. You had more time to yeah. sit there and play your one video game and and watch a scene like this. It just did it didn't seem ponderous or anything like that. It's just like, whoa, stuff is happening. I'm changing the environment. It, is, it really is what even with that in mind, it is pretty nuts uh how long this is taking. Yeah, <laughs> it's over. We're through. Mmm. Here we go. Creepy yeah. Portrait Gallery. Fuck yeah. Big old bunch of paintings of the ex-wives. Oh, is this like a bluebeard type thing? No, well, that's the one you just saw in the uh Oh yeah, in the yeah greenhouse. It is. The one who got troweled. <laughs> Never heard of that as a as a verb or well, before, but if you hang out with me enough, you, yeah, you learn a lot of things. Good things happen. All right. Is there a body in the trunk? Come on. <laughs> Come on. I would like to see a body in the Show trunk. Show me body in the trunk. And the did she open it? I can never tell when something's going to be yeah, locked. Yeah, when, when or something's unlocked. successful or not. It's just random. <laughs> ah. Ooh. A diari. Ah, dead baby locket. Yep. Nothing disturbing about that. Just put Seems that normal. back. Uh, also, I, you can't tell if she's supposed to be like hearing the giggling or if that's just like yeah, atmospheric. I think she's hearing everything. I would agree with that. Oh, there's the cameo you were yeah. talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. We'll give that to. Lou at the antique shop. And now let's read that sweet diary. Let's make sure to stand up nice and straight, too. She does have good posture. Dear diary, Carno is just so damn sexy. <laughs> He's making my pants levitate. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Want to share it with the class, Adrian? September 14th, 1889. No one hits like Gaston. Matches wits like Gaston. I grow increasingly fearful of Zoltan. I feel the burn of his eyes upon me as he watches my every move. Did my little girl have such fears? Did she suffer when he snuffed out her baby life? Oh, no. Ugh. How could people believe him when he said it was an accident? It was no accident. But, dear diary, Zoltan wasn't always like this. I remember, not so long ago, when he was loving and gay. Well, it was overjoyed mm. when <laughs> Sophia was born. I that is different. <laughs> I remember. But after his trip to Paris last year, he changed. To the demon that happens to a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. Now... All I have left. Oh, I see what's happening here. Mm. He learned real magic and summoned a demon. My dear yes. now, as far away as I can get from Zoltan's ever watchful eyes. I definitely don't think he'll come in yeah. to the greenhouse <laughs> and, murder me. and stab me with a trowel. Also, I like that he murdered my baby and I told people he did it and they were like, meh, doesn't sound right. That does sound like the 1800s. Yeah. Yeah. And I and and that does explain why she was giving him what you might call the cold shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. So, yeah, it's starting to become clear now. Yep. So here's my hypothesis. Now, Mm -hmm. you know what happened. I think he went to Paris, tried to learn real magic, summoned a demon. The demon possessed him. And then he came back and got all, as they say, uncool. I think you're dead on. I think he was an over... Overly ambitious illusionist yep. who wanted the real thing. But he couldn't handle it. But he couldn't fucking handle it. What, what is that object she's it's, messing It's a with? contraption. I, I mean, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> okay, but it's just got weird energy around it. Everything in this game has weird energy, <laughs> That's energy true. around it. She's surrounded by the seven energies. <laughs> Come on. Oh. All right, something cool is going to happen. Yep. Adjust Man, every time, Every time she checks her bangs, something terrible happens. Yeah. It's because it's a bad fashion choice. No, it is not. How dare you? I'm pretty. All right, well, are we looking in the mirror again? Ah. Maybe that maybe there's something with a contraption now yeah. that we saw it like look have at that the weirdness. sex contraption. That's definitely a thing for having sex in. And I should know. Nope. Nothing happens with it. Weird. Why I could list sex contraptions all day and never get bored. <laughs> yep. Nope, I guess that's it for now. Sex contraption number one, the common spoon. All right, Brian, chill out. <laughs> Diddly dee. Okay, we're almost done with this chapter. You know, any swing can be turned into a sex swing if you want it bad enough. Yeah, <laughs> if you're brave enough. Yeah. Gosh, I'm so used to coming out and getting yelled at when I go down this hallway. Past Don's dark room. Yeah. You dirty, rotten, stinking, filthy son of a bitch. Hell yes. Whoa. Here we go. Stay away from my life. Just what are you accusing me of, sir? I know exactly what you're doing here. Messing with Don't the. Shut up. Mess with the phone guy. Fine. Cool. I didn't put a phone in anyway, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Call me when the internet exists. Oof, wow, man. what a way to go out. Ooh, I hate Don. All right. I got, I'll say it again. Whether you agree with him or not, he's just fucking got a vibe to him that I really like. <laughs> he's Stop, just a, he seems up, like Ryan. a good guy. You're not, okay. What? All right. Next time on Game Grumps. We got two left, baby. Uh, we'll see you then. Bye. Goodbye.